This video is part of the course that is GraphQL with Spring Boot. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. For the next few lectures, we are going to learn Project Lombok and how to use Lombok in our Spring Boot application. So you might be thinking what is Project Lombok. So this is an introduction kind of thing for the Project Lombok. So basically it's built with Java. So if you go to the official website of Project Lombok and download it, then that's the executable jar file. So in the upcoming lectures, we will see that what is the official website of that and how to download Project Lombok. Now the next thing is, why we need to use Project Lombok in our Spring Boot application. So the answer is to avoid boilerplate code in our application. So you might be thinking what is boilerplate code? So that piece of code that you create once and you don't make any alteration on that. So the best example of boilerplate code is getters and setters. So in our POJO or model class, right, we create getters and setters for almost all the fields and we hardly make change inside the get and set method of a particular field. Around 99% that we don't make any change inside the getters and setters of the fields. So that is boilerplate code. So Project Lombok provides annotations to have getters and setters for the fields and it also provides annotations to have constructors in our Java class. So that we will see in the upcoming lectures how to use those annotations. It's not just Spring Boot application where you can use Project Lombok. You can use Project Lombok in any of your Java application, be it desktop application or any other web application. Either it's a Spring Framework based or Spring Boot application or any non-Spring Framework or non-Spring Boot application. You can use Project Lombok in any of your Java application. So this is the introduction to Project Lombok. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. Do you want to learn GraphQL? If yes, then I'm having complete course on it. That is GraphQL with Spring Boot. This course covers what is GraphQL, what is GraphQL query, mutation, schema, and the difference between GraphQL API and REST API. This course also covers the real-time implementation of GraphQL with Spring Boot. This course also includes how to use Project Lombok with Spring Boot application. So, what are you waiting for? The course link is given in the description. Just click on that link and start your journey of GraphQL with Spring Boot. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.